I was gonna wait a few minutes for this, but uh, I figure I'll do it now while it's early and my mind is fresh. Uh, welcome back to Brick Burst TV. And on today's episode, I'm gonna show how I'm gonna fill up these empty slots in my watch box. Um, I just opened the package. It came, just, just, just opened it. Just came to me. And inside was this. This is the SRPE53 Seiko 5. And you may know I have raved about this watch, the 5.7. I called it the 5.7 J8. Uh, and I gave it to my son. And in a couple of my videos, I stole it back. Oh, look, this one says J8 also. SRPE 53J8. Hmm. Interesting. Well, more on that. Uh, so we get, let's see, what did I get? I got this envelope which has the warranty card. It's, it's blank. I'm just excited here. But um, I was trying to figure out what I could get to replace that watch. And why not the same watch, just in a different color? Boom, there it is. Look at that dial. Wow, this thing. Okay, so let's take it off of this pillow. Let's push this off to the side. This thing is brand spanking new. SRPE53. Looks like it, it has the sticker on the back. So let's get right into it. Now, I got my trusty bag of straps here in, <laughs> in like at least four or five videos. I brought out this strap from Vina Creations, the 19 millimeter strap. And I keep saying, I'm, I got a story about this strap. And I keep forgetting in every video, I, got, I have the 20 millimeter version of this strap on this watch, the SRPJ13. Uh, and <laughs> I keep forgetting to tell a story about this watch, uh, this strap. So I'm not gonna forget this time. This strap was the strap that I bought when I bought my very first Seiko watch. It was the SNXS 77. And if any of you know that watch, it has a blue sunburst dial, just like this one. And I went through several blue dial watches, uh, trying to find a, another blue dial automatic watch. And I, ended up getting this one. I settled on this one because of the dress, the dressy properties. But this, in addition to this guy, can also be a go anywhere, do anything watch. Being that it doesn't have the numerical bezel, the dive bezel. And more about that in a minute too, because as much as I dislike dive watches, I'm starting to, they're starting to grow on me. And um, I was looking for a watch to replace the SUR 517 that I have for sale. That auction ends in a few minutes. Well, this, this time I've had it up for sale on eBay for I don't know how many times. And I just keep pulling it because I really like that watch a lot. But um, let's get the stickers off of this guy. So I think I'm going to just let it run to completion this time. There's bunch of people watching it. it still has zero bids but you know people like to snipe at the end of the auction it's part of the the whole excitement of the buying process so i'm gonna let that go and see you know um, what i get for it i'm not in it to make money or anything but i'd rather it go to a home with somebody that's gonna enjoy it i never really got to enjoy that watch but i love the look at it of it the dial but here it is with that blue sunburst dial. It's, it's there. It's very dark. And then you get that royal blue almost. 
sunburst on it. So that bracelet. Some of these I went back and I watched a bunch of videos on the SRPEs and I found the one they call this the solid boy. I don't know why that is, but that made me think, but I don't think this is the reason, but these links are solid. I did see some of them in videos where the links were perforated here, so they were folded links, but this is a solid link bracelet. I don't know if the J8 has anything to do with that, but um, I'll remove this hang tag. I don't want to cut it off, but I'm going to remove, let's see, I'm going to immediately, I know how this wrist, this watch looks and fits on wrists, so I'm just going to go ahead and get one of these free spring bar tools and relieve the watch of its strap using these drilled lugs. And that should be a piece of cake. Let's see if we could do this without scratching the watch up a bunch. There's one. And see, that's what I was saying about these hollow end links. When you take off the bracelet, you can just push one side of the pin in and then you could just lever it out or pivot, I said, pivot it out. Unlike the watch, this watch with the solid end links where you have to pull it straight back out of the case because there's solid material in there where you can't really pivot it. Um, so let me just make sure I don't lose this, these pieces, these end links. Let me immediately take this tag off here I like to keep these tags. I like to keep all the packaging, even those plastic stickers. I want to call them stickers. They they hardly stick. And once you peel them off, oh, the sticker on the back is coming off. I don't know about that, but oh, that came off pretty easily. That may have been a. I don't know. But whatever. Watch is brand new. So, even if it wasn't, that, that'll be fine. For the price that I paid for this, I wanted the, the J model, the made in Japan model. And let's see if I got, did I get that out? I think that's out. I just, okay, this one doesn't want to pivot out. So let's not bend it. Let's go ahead and Oh, see, I'm forgetting again <laughs> about the blue strap again. I'm, uh, I just dumb off. You guys have to forgive me for that. I get excited when I see these watches, but um, yeah. So that blue strap I bought for that SNXS XNXS seventy seven, and it worked really well. When I bought that watch, I ordered it on uh, Amazon. I think it was like eighty five, ninety five bucks. And immediately with it, I ordered this strap from Binder Creations. And they both came at the same time. Separate packages, but they both came at the same time. And it was good because the bracelet that came on that watch did not fit my 7-inch wrist. It didn't have extra links. It didn't have anything. It just did not fit. It was a really, really tight fit. And I like my bracelets to fit kind of snug. So, um... I have a couple of straps for this watch and you know I couldn't wait I have another watch coming which I'll talk about in a minute but in my trusty bag of straps I have this strap which I was curious to see how it fit how it looked on this watch so let's just go ahead and pop that on right now I don't know that blue in the camera yeah that blue is not really going that well but let's just see I have a, a leather strap with contrast white stitching from, I think it's Strap Co. coming. Should be here tomorrow. And there we go. But yeah, this one, my black one, the 57, I had on this black leather strap, if you recall. And I have the brown one over here on 
this to SRPG39. So this one, you know me with the blue and blue strap strap. I'm gonna put it on. I might just actually buy now a two stitch strap for this that's in this more of this blue. Um, watch well, seems to be started running since I've been moving it around, but let's uh let's get this guy. Benchmark basic silk cloth. Let's see how that looks on there. This is a darker blue. Let's see if that's gonna look better. Yeah, I think that looks a little better on there. Let's get that on. Let's see. This strap I really love. I mean, this one, I've been using it, putting some use to it. And the leather is holding up really well. The color is holding up really well on it. But I have, I, I hope that that blue strap, is this six o'clock? Yeah, six o'clock long strap. I hope that blue one that I ordered for this watch, um, I almost said fits. I hope it looks good, the color. I don't know, with the screen on my phone when I'm ordering these things, sometimes the uh, the colors, they come through really differently. And then on the camera, I'm looking at it with my eyes, my naked eyes, <laughs> but... <laughs> When I look back at the film, yeah, that looks good. That sail cloth on there, that looks really good. Nice brushed uh, buckle, it's a nice size. I think that looks really good there. Let's, let's go ahead and get that on the wrist. Actually, let me set the time on this. So I'm gonna pull it out at 12 just to make things easier, let's see. That's too soon. Wow, this is really okay. And the time now is twelve thirty six seven. It's gonna be twelve thirty seven. So let's go. Okay, time date has changed. Friday. So let's leave it at five ish and change that date. Today is Wednesday. The 31st, yeah. So yeah, this, I think I, I finished telling the story about that SNSX, um, the UFO watch. Some, one uh, YouTuber said that it looked like a UFO because of the way the lugs they came pretty much straight off to the sides from the case and it it sat up really high on the wrist. And so that watch, I mean, it's 37 millimeters and then with the fact that it sat up so high, it just, it just didn't look what right on my wrist. And boom, okay. So we got to go to, that's five in the morning. So we got to go to 12, let's go to 12.35. And oh, I went past, so 12.30. Five-ish, boom. And let's see. Oh, a few seconds behind, but that's fine for now. And I'll wind it up off camera later. Just give it a couple of winds so it doesn't stop. And I'll zero that out. But let's get that on wrist. This boo would look really good on this. As a matter of fact, I have a 20 millimeter strap in that blue. This thing is on so tight. It's tough to get it off. This thing is really performing well for me. I'll sit it down here. Get this thing on the wrist. Let's do the bendy. <laughs> the bendy, 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 bend, 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 bend. <laughs> oh, I promised that I was losing my mind, and I really am. My wife thinks I lost my mind completely when it comes to these watches, this watch situation. But 
Let's get that. All right. I'm having deja vu. Uh, let's get that sized up. Boom. Yeah. This arm's kind of sticky again, but I think that looks good. On that blue. I'm happy with that. With that with some blue jeans. That's gonna look good. Yeah, so that fills up one slot. And so if we do this, this one goes here. This one will go next to the fill watch which leaves this slot open next to the chronograph. Now, I really like the chronograph. That watch is really nice. This one, this thing is so awesome. And it's a Mecca Quartz. And so my whole, I guess my thinking behind this is, you know, I need some dress watches. So I have the blue, the green, the brown. Um, and I have this one, which I can wear pretty much on any other strap. I still have about three or four straps on the way. I can wear this with pretty much any other strap. And, you know, it'll go whatever. And then I have the chronograph, which is a Mega Quartz. So uh, I don't have the, I'm not gonna spend uh, the money that I would need to spend to get an accurate chronograph that was all automatic. And then it probably would be much bigger. This is a big watch already. It's 41 millimeters in the thickness. Um, you can see how thick this is. It's probably, I wanna say 12 and maybe 12 and a half. Uh, I'll check, but you know, I I don't need that. That uh, How often am I using a chronograph really? Which is the same thing I said, by the way, about a dive watch. I don't need a dive watch. I don't swim. I don't go diving. What would I need a dive watch? But I actually found one that was not in my 39 to 40 millimeter range, but it's not a 42 and a half. It's a 38 and a half. But with the way the lugs, I looked at a lot of videos and the lug, the lug to lug on it, it's 46 and some change, almost 47. And the way it looks on those lugs, and especially right after that video where I used the 57 and this watch, the 45, SRPE 45, and then this watch, 38 and a half millimeters, 39.3 millimeters, 40 millimeters, and showing the difference, the visuality, I guess, of how they wear on wrist. Hopefully when UPS shows up, they ring my bell, I'm hoping that they do that during this uh, this taping, this filming. And on this strap, you know, I don't mind. See how I just jump subjects based on what I'm looking at? I don't mind so much these extra holes because of this strap hole protector here, which, which is leather. On this Benchmarks Basic Sailcloth, this is really nice. You know, I, I was on the gate about this cell cross strap as far as to what, which watch I would wear it on because I have pretty much dedicated straps for all of my watches. And then I have also backups, so alternate stand-ins, if you will. But this is going really surprisingly well for me. I'm gonna have to take a shot of this out in the sun. Let's see, we got a little bit of sunlight coming in, but that thing is Ready. So, uh, do I want to spoil what I have coming for that today? I don't know. Maybe that'll be another video. He hasn't buzzed yet, so <clears throat> I'm gonna put this bracelet. Maybe I'll size it for my wrist. Maybe that'll that'll use up some time. Let me size it for my wrist. I do like these double locking clasps, this part and then like that. Actually, the the watch that I have coming has the same clasp, except it has a diver's extension. 
So I probably let the cat out of the bag with that. Yep, it's a diver, a dive watch. So I'm gonna see how I like it, how it looks on wrist. I have a strap for coming for that. It's a, it's a rubber strap. And I'm gonna get a little, a little dime bag to put these in links in and stuff like that. But yeah, SRPE 53J8. <laughs> The J8. Paid a little bit of money for this, but I think it's well worth it. And, um, hey, let me know what you think about that strap. Should I put that leather strap on here? Uh, I'll try it. When I have a leather one coming, so when that leather one comes and when the watch comes, I'll film another video, put that out. But for now, this is Big Briss. Thanks for coming, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging on, listening to my long-windedness, and I'll see you on the next video. Let me at least get a good shot. Okay. <laughs>